And y'all, like I seriously cry for everything. I'm getting really emotional. And I think the reason why is... Hello, mindful humans. My name is Sarah. Welcome to the Mindful Minimalist Show. I'm a licensed educator, an expert declutter, and a mental health warrior fighting the stigma. On this channel, we cover minimalism and mental health. Today, I just want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Can you guys believe we are already at Thanksgiving? Like, it just blows my mind that we're already there. 2020 has been the longest year of our lives, it seems like, but we have made it. And I want us today to focus on the word contentment. Minimalism is focused a lot around the idea of being content with what you have and not constantly being in this search for more and more and more, constantly shopping, constantly looking for something to fill that void or that that desire that you have to get new things all the time or to have your house be the most beautiful or your kids to be the best dressed. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with those things, but when we are constantly striving for more and more and more or better and better and better and better, when it comes to material things, trivial things, things that are superficial, that's when we lose our gratefulness. And that's what the entire Thanksgiving fall season is about, is about looking on what we have and being thankful for that, whether it is our home, our possessions, you know, our cars, or if it's simply your family. Maybe that's all you have right now. Maybe you don't even have a place to live. Maybe you don't have family. What is there to be thankful for? I encourage you to try to find at least one thing in your life that you are thankful for. And I know different circumstances will warrant different responses from different people. No matter what your financial state may be, what your home might be, remember that we still have things to be thankful for no matter what. And I don't want to minimize or trivialize anyone going through a hard time financially. Um, so if that's you, just know I'm here for you and know that um, you know someone is here supporting you throughout that time. When you stop and think about how much we truly have, and by we I'm talking about most developed countries. Um, I live in the US and so I can't really speak for um, you know many other places, but for people who live with about the same standard of living that we do, we have so much to be grateful for. We have so many things that people around the world would love to have. And I don't say that in like a stereotypical, oh, well, you should be thankful for what you have because everyone has it worse than you. Like I hate hearing that and it really is not helpful for people. But during this time of Thanksgiving, I do want us to reflect on the things that we do have, whether it be little or be much. Let's spend some time reflecting on that. If you are a Christian, this may be a time of prayer and reflection for you, um, thanking God for what he's given you. If you are not religious or if you belong to another religion, it may look differently for you and that's okay. Whatever you're doing for this Thanksgiving, whatever celebration, get together, or even the lack of doing anything thanks to COVID, whatever it is you're doing, if you're with family, if you're staying home, just keep the word contentment with you this week. That's my challenge for you, contentment. Are you content with what you have or are you constantly working and working and working to get more? Because remember, we are buying things with hours of our life. So try to think about that. That's a really good comparison. We're not going out and buying things with money. We are using the money, but we got that from hours working. So whenever you're thinking about, you know, do I really need this? Should I buy something else? Think about how much you had to work for it and if you would rather do that or if you're simply content with what you have. Keep things pretty simple in our family for Thanksgiving and fall, especially this year due to COVID, we probably will not do anything big. However, I want to work on starting some traditions with our family and really focusing on the meaning of Thanksgiving, which is to be grateful, be thankful, appreciate the things that you have, the people that you have around you. And I want my son to grow up knowing that that's important to do. I don't really remember too much as a kid like, having specific Thanksgiving traditions where you know we went around the table and talked about what we were thankful for or whatever. My family never did that. And so I do want to instill that, um, you know, that mindset into my son that 
we should be thankful all year round, but specifically during this fall time, we really want to stop and reflect on all that we've been given, on all that we have, whether it's possessions or loved ones or animals or opportunities, jobs, whatever. Take some time this week to truly reflect on what you have and maybe even write a gratitude list. I mean, there's, there are tons of things you can do. I know some people do like They post one thing they're thankful for every day on social media. You could do something like that if you wanted to take it to the next level. But my challenge for you is simply to think about what you have in your life to be thankful for and try to share some of that gratefulness that you have to others. I know for a lot of people, Thanksgiving can be hard if you feel like there's not much to be thankful for. And that may sound really rude to some people, but I know there are people who feel that way. Maybe you don't have your own home, or you recently went through a divorce, or you lost a child, you lost a parent, um, you lost a job. I mean, it can be really hard to feel thankful and grateful in those moments, in those hard times in life. So if that's where you are right now, please do not beat yourself up over this. Simply realize, you know what? I'm going through this hard time. Everyone else needs to realize how grateful they should be for this. And I'm seeing that. So now I'm going to start being grateful for my other things too. You know, I may not have this loved one or I may not have this job, but I want to try to find something to be thankful for. Maybe you feel like you don't have anything to be thankful for this year, whether you've lost a loved one, you've lost a job, something traumatic has happened. It's okay to not feel gratitude all the time. It's okay if you go a year and you're like, you know what, this year really sucks, because it does, 2020 is the worst. You may not feel like giving thanks. And if that's the place that you're in, I'm here for you. Don't feel like you have to fake this happiness, this, ah, happy Thanksgiving, whatever, it's great, I'm so thankful for this, and my car, and my house, and blah, blah, blah. If you're struggling this year, don't put on a happy face for other people. Simply make it, make it through, get through it. I know holidays are hard for a lot of people, and if you're someone who is in these shoes, I know it must be really hard for you. So I want you to know I'm here for you, and that we can make it through this. If you are one of those people that I mentioned that feel like you have nothing to be thankful for, whether it has been the loss of a loved one, a divorce, the loss of your house or a job, life may feel bleak right now. Or just the fact that it's 2020, maybe you have COVID, maybe you've lost a family member to COVID. I want to give my deepest condolences for whatever you may have lost or whatever you're missing this year. And I want you to know that you do not have to fake or force gratitude. You don't have to pretend like this is a wonderful Thanksgiving if it's not for you. Don't put on those fake emotions just for the sake of others. It's not about them, it's about you. It's about you. So if you are struggling with finding something to be thankful for, let me do it for you. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful you are here. And I'm thankful that you are in my life. And y'all, like I seriously cry for everything. I'm getting really emotional. And I think the reason why is I'm thinking of a person in particular who has gone through something very difficult. And I know for someone in these shoes, it would be really hard to get through Thanksgiving and to get through Christmas. And I just want this person and other people to know that it's okay to have feelings. It's okay to express them. It's okay to not be happy 24-7, including during the holidays, especially during the holidays. It's such a crazy tough time. So if that is you, if you are struggling throughout the holidays, know that I am here with you. I thought I'd also let you guys know some of the things I am the most thankful for this year. Number one, it has been our health. No one in our family has had COVID, and I'm so thankful. That's not to say that we won't. My husband is an essential worker. Um, However, we have not so far, so I'm very thankful for our health. I'm thankful to have my family. I have my husband and my son with me, and I'm thankful for our brand new home 
this is our home that we bought this year and it's been so nice moving in and so we have so many things that we're thankful for and I'm also thankful for you guys for my viewers being here um, it really means a lot to me to have your support and to hear your wonderful comments so drop me a comment letting me know what you are the most thankful for this year make sure you like this video and I'll see you for our next one bye Thank you.